before the stream started, but um, we're at 65.94 average viewers per stream. And the reason it's lower than 75, even though we like almost always have 75 viewers, is because there's like two or three days uh, where I streamed at the beginning of the month last month, where or at the beginning of the month this month, where I like had almost no one watching because it was like a really strange time for me to be live. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, I think that Thundi Zashian's pretty good on lead. Kyogre's definitely going to be useful here. How good's Incineroar? I don't think Incineroar is as, is as good as Whimsicott, to be honest. I could bring Flapple, but <laughs> only if they, like, Dynamax the, uh... Only if they Dynamax the Blastoise is it ever... Uh, ever gonna be good. Okay. I think my last Pokemon's gonna be Incineroar. Yeah. Hey, have a nice one, Buenty. Grim Snowy Beldle. We play this pretty much exactly like we played it last time. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the, uh, <laughs> unless it's fake tears on the Grimmsnarl, I should be able to ignore it for a while. Uh, or ignore the, uh, Eveltal. So here my play is gonna be to instantly max airstream the Grimmsnarl, and I'm gonna actually go for a protect here. I'm gonna go for the protect, um... Because I wanna scout to see if they're... Yeah, I wanna scout to see if they're running, um, what's it called? Thunder Wave? Before I, like, switch into, like, Incineroar. Or I guess I could have gone Incineroar there. The only thing is I don't want Incineroar to, like, have to eat, like, a max airstream if they go for that. Or get a special defense drop if they decide to target right into Thunderous. Also looks like we're faster, which is always very nice. Honestly, I would love it if they were scary face and they just click that into my Thundee right now. I would not care. My brother in Christ still in Ultra Ball Purgatory. I mean, we just started the stream. I'm one and one on stream right now. It was mostly just the Inteleon team that was just like super, super bad and I never should have used. All right, let's see if they're fake out. Thunderwave, that's the stuff. That's what I wanted to see. So, big reason I didn't go into Incineroar this turn is because if I went into Incineroar instantly, they wouldn't Thunderwave the Incineroar next turn. But now I can go into Incineroar and bait the Thunderwave. There's the Airstream. I'm still going to be faster, so I'm kind of cool with this. So here, I should be able to airstream the Grimmsnarl. And now I go into the Incineroar to be immune to that hit. Flapple won the Grass Raffle? Flapple, it wasn't it wasn't a raffle, it was like a guess what I'm, what I'm actually building around. I've been using Flapple for like a day and a half and it's been pretty good. At least on the team I put it on. Like obviously Flapple itself isn't good, it just like fills a nice little role on the team it's on. What does Flapple's G-Max do again? Uh, it lowers evasion, and the reason that's super useful is um, for Origin Pulse, so I always connect it, and also because Flapple has the ability Hustle, which lowers its uh, accuracy, so being able to lower evasion for when I'm not Dynamaxed is always very nice. They go for the Reflect, that's fine. I have Fake Out next turn.
Yeah, so I fake out and max knuckle the Grim Snarl. And that should be pretty good. No hypnosis tech? Unfortunately, no. Yep, there's the max flare. That's super nice for me. Because I can just fake out max knuckle and I'm going to do faster than them regardless. So here we max knuckle. And go for the little fake out. Get a bit of damage on Eveltal. I wouldn't mind a Defiant boost too, that'd be super nice. That'd be super nice. Oh, what's coming in? Zacian? I don't care if it's Zacian, that's super nice for me. I get a lot of chip here. That one kind of bounces off, but, but now we get the max knuckle, and if we're lucky, if we're lucky, this guy may have gone for a max darkness, thinking he could possibly knock me out. There's the airstream, that's fine too. Because Asian's still going to be slower than me, I'm at plus two, it's at plus one. Here, it is my play, nay, my responsibility to brick break and go into my own Zacian. Brick break you. Go into my own little dude. Hopefully he doesn't heat wave. I don't think he should heat wave here like ever. And this is actually going to do a decent amount of damage. This is going to do a decent amount of damage. Because if you don't know, the first brick break, when it hits a screen, still like, it damages as though there weren't any screens. And then it breaks them. So that's really nice. Also, uh, Tatsoru, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Hopefully I don't have Sucker Punch. That'd be really annoying. Swords Dance? Okay. Disrespectful, honestly, but... And how are you faster than me? Oblivion Wing. Honestly, um... Here I'm pretty tempted to double attack the Zacian. Actually, I think my play is going to be to wild charge Zacian and go right back into Incineroar. Because... I should always eat the hit from this range. It's going to be a little bit close though. Yeah. Because then I have fake out pressure. And if they go for heat wave, that wouldn't be great. I'm pretty bulky, so I think I take this. Demoth Blade. How much you want to bet that was in to my Zacian? It was not. Oh, it was. Hello? I mean, I'll take it. This is going to be good damage. This is going to be good damage. I was intrigued by the Flapple. You should be. Very heat. Oh, that didn't KO. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not gaming. We're not gaming today. A sin, honestly. Um, How can I fix this? I mean, I can go into my Kyogre. I can go into my Kyogre, and I think I just go Origin Pulse. And that'll KO both of these guys. Or at the very least, one of them. And like that's all I need. I'm really surprised he's actually faster than me. Alright, uh, I just double attack the Zacian, and I go Origin Pulse. Play Rough might KO me. <laughs> it might. I'm pretty defensive, though. Hey, Marcus, can you validate me? Send the Scorch is sneaky good right now. Hey, can someone ban Mike? No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> I don't think it's that good, but it could be useful. Send the Scorch has always been decent into Zacian.
Let's see if he has Snarl. They should Behemoth Blades. Who's it into? Probably the Thunderous. Do I live? I do not. However, if I connect here, it should be fine. Because I kept Mizashin around. Don't flinch me. I will cry. He flinched me. Oh, that sucked. Okay. Um. I mean, this just comes down to making one good read. Both of my Pokemon are capable of protecting. And I'd imagine he's more concerned with taking out the Zacian, so I'm going to protect here and just Origin Pulse again. I have to get this, this one turn right. That's it. I mean, he could also just flinch me again, but whatever. He also may be under the impression I'm Scarf and that I'm no longer a threat. Oh, he protects here. Well, I got the turn wrong. Uh, maybe. I can crit. Wow, that does so much. Am I gonna miss? Okay. How do I do this? I mean, I kind of have to attack it at this point. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate flinch. Imagine I live? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, uh, that flinch pretty much won them the game. Win streak starts after this game. I lost because I didn't bring Flapple. True. That's definitely why I lost there. Okay, uh, so this is our this is our worst round. Or this is our worst matchup. And I think you all know why. Uh, I need you to look at all of our switch ins. For like anything. You might be wondering, Marcos, how do you deal with this? Well honestly I don't. Uh, I usually actually do this though. This is our worst matchup specifically because Calyrex just annihilates everything on the team. I've been able to deal with it pretty fine on Showdown in practice, though. Like, it hasn't been that bad. It's just that two of my grass types... I, I have two grass types on the team and a flying type, so uh, I, I pretty much leave both grass types at home and try to win with, like, bulky Kyogre. Wait, you're in Ultra Ball right now? Yeah, uh, basically, season reset, and I only started playing two streams ago. I climbed all the way to, like, the top of Ultra Ball, and then ended the stream. And then, next stream, I used Inteleon, and that team was awful. So now we're using Flapple and expecting things to change. Incineroization. Wait, why would you lead like that? That's actually, like, really, really bad. That's, like, a really, really bad lead. Um, I mean, I might just take the, the thing from them, like, honestly. They should also be expecting the, um... They should be expecting the Thunderous to Dynamax here. So I'd like to take whatever comes in on, on the slot on the left. Did you know Last Shot does double damage this turn? Turn zero does double. Yeah, um, this should one shot.
I'm also specifically calc on the Kyogre to take like 49% from Behemoth Blade here. And it looks like they stayed in. I'm assuming they're just going to fake out the Kyogre, expecting it to want a Water Spout or something. And then like Behemoth Blading the, the Thunderous. Got him. Got him good. Got him good. There's the play rough. Uh, that shouldn't KO me. Oh, it does. Hello? That kind of sucks. I thought they'd Behemoth Blade there. That actually does... If they were predicting the Thunderous to Dynamax there, Behemoth Blade still does more. Anyways, that should KO. Nice. I don't think that crit mattered. Yeah, no, that, that, that didn't make much sense to me. Uh, here I can go Zacian, and the reason I have to go Zacian is because if there is a Mimikyu in the back, I have to double attack it, and Zacian's faster than Kyogre. Yep, okay. So here I just double attack the Mimikyu. They don't typically run Protect. Um, and that covers them going for Trick Room, since I should always KO. I also still have a full health Kyogre, which is very, very nice. So we Behemoth Blade, and we Max Geyser. And they are probably just going to Parting Shot, I'd imagine. They want to, like, go for Trick Room Parting Shot. Flapple Day? Today is a Flapple kind of day. Yeah, it's a, it's a G-Max Flapple. Uh, I briefly considered running regular Flapple, but G-Max just seemed to be more consistent. Because then, you know, I land Origin Pulses better. Alright, Mimikyu should be Trick Rooming here. Yep, okay, they lost the Mimikyu. Watch it be Focus Banned, the most based Mimikyu set. If you don't know, Focus Bands can activate multiple times per game, I'm pretty sure. I think it's happened to me before. Parting Shot, yep, makes sense. Um, but give me one good reason not to Max Geyser your Calyrex. Pretty certain Calyrex doesn't take a Max Geyser. Let me double check. Yep. Ooh, actually it might. I do like a 98% to it. Also, I'm not max special attack, so I actually have... What's my odds of KOing? My odds of KOing are 81%. So here, I always protect the Zacian in case they decide to... Because they're going to fake out anyways. Um, and if they Dynamax the Calyrex, I should win. But if they go for Trick Room, it becomes a little bit rougher. Because I'm going to deal at least half here, and then I can just double the Calyrex. Focus Band can activate as many times as you can the Focus Band input properly. Yeah, what is it? Like, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start. Then you Focus Band. Trick Room into Seed Bomb. No, they Dynamax here, which means they likely Quaked, which is why I Protect. Um, they should be in range of a double up next turn. You need to crit. Not really. Not really. They Dynamax here, so they're going to take like 50% from the Max Geyser. Um, they don't KO my Zacian, and the next turn I double into it with Max or with uh, Water Spout plus Behemoth Blade. Yeah, they took like 50% there. So I'm pretty certain this is going to KO. 
Mago Ampharos, thank you so much for the follow. Did they just... What did they just do? They just parting shot me? Okay, that might be a little bit of an issue. That might be a little bit of an issue, because now they might live. Yeah, lower Master Ball? I don't know. It's, it's hard to, like... It's hard to quantify that sort of thing. Like... When you're in Master Ball, if you lose every single game in Master Ball, it, you can't really quantify your place on the ladder. Because the is the lowest person in, matter, in Master Ball better than, like, the highest person who just started playing in, like, Ultra Ball? I don't know. It's, it's, very, it's a very weird thing to quantify. It's not Babiri. There's no way it's Babiri. Alright, I'm at minus two. This probably still KOs. Yep, good game. Here's my opinion of how they should rebalance the ladder. Um, I think that... What is it? I think that, like, Master Ball, Ultra Ball, everything should be, like, ELO-based, right? Sort of like how it is in Master Ball. But what I really want is for Master Ball to not be... If you've ever played, like, Apex, I think Master Ball should be, like, Apex Predator, how it's, like, top 500 players in the world, and that's Master Ball. You know? So that way someone could be like an Ultra Ball, right? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm like the highest ranked player in Ultra Ball. Like I'm very close to Master, like that sort of thing. Uh, oh, yo, wait, hold on. Flapple goes hard here. Flapple goes insane, actually. Like they don't know how insane Flapple goes. They got to be concerned for their safety at this point. Like, oh my God. Like, holy moly. Like, geez, Batman. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna use Flapple even though it's kind of unsafe. Actually, no, I lead off Flapple Kyogre and I bring Incineroarization in the back. That's what I do. Thanks, Tet. Regieleki Mimikyu? Okay, but what do you have for the world's greatest played Flapple? This is very risky. I'm just going to put that right out there. This is the riskiest play I could be making right now, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm fairly certain Kyogre can take one hit, and they're not going to Dynamax the Regieleki. If it's Specs, I don't take the hit. If it's not specs, I should take the hit. I got some I got some decent bulk. I just need to break this uh I just need to break this disguise and prevent the trick room outright. Mercury, thanks for gifting the subs. Are you supporting the Apple, Mercury? You're supporting the Apple? Oh yeah, I forgot you have a full time job now, so you actually have money. I'm a college student, so I have negative money. What? Okay, Kyogre lives this. Kyogre lives this. There's no chance Kyogre doesn't live it. What just happened? If it's banded, I swear. Okay, we're good. We're good. That scared me so much. I'm just like... What happened? Like, I, I, I was like, I don't want to... I don't want to deal with this. I mean, that did a lot. That had to be banded, right? We gotta look at that team. Anyways, this thing's gone. Boom. And now I spam Wormwind. Like, for the entire rest of the game. Arthur, how, how, you, go, or how you doing, dude? Alright, there's a Kyogre. There's a Kyogre. Um... There's a little bit of an issue with this if the Kyogre is faster than me, but I'd imagine if you're running Trick Room, you're going to want to be slow. What's Kyogre's minimum speed again? Hold on. 
Okay, Kyogre should be slower than me if they're not running any speed investment. So here I'm going to Wormwind the Kyogre. And I'm going to go right into Incineroar. If they have any speed investment, they're faster. But they shouldn't be. They're running Necrozma. I just can't get Ice Beam tier is all. Let's go! Alright, Kyogre's dead. It's not living this. <laughs> it literally just doesn't take it. It literally just can't take the hit. He swords danced? Okay, I'm still faster, bud. I'm still faster. I'm gonna parting shot on this guy like 90 times. Eh, that's what I thought. The Big Apple. The Big Apple came in clutch. What did I tell you? On Team Preview, I said, Flapple goes hard here. Why? Because he has nothing for Wormwind. Yeah, let me look at that. That's gotta be Bandit Reggie like you to do that much with Explosion. Life Orb Kyogre. I don't like it. I don't like... Oh, dang it! I didn't get to look. I accidentally pressed B.